Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you the basic movement functions for coding in Python Turtle. In this video, I'll show you how to create and change the shape of your turtle and how to move it around. I'm using REPL for this, so if you want to make your own REPL to follow along, you can check out the tutorial I made on how to do that. Also, make sure you select Python with Turtle for your language when you're making your REPL. The first thing I'm going to do is type from turtle import star. And that's because star means everything. So this basically says from turtle import everything. So now I have access to all of my turtle functions that I'll need for making drawings. And next I'm going to create my first turtle. So I'm going to call mine T, but you can call yours anything you want. It can even be your name. And then write the word turtle with parentheses like this. And make sure you have a capital T like this because this is a specific function and if you spell it wrong or use different capitalization then it will give you an error over here. And now if I run this you'll see nothing shows up over here and that's because we haven't done anything to this turtle yet so it's not going to have anything to show over here. So I'm going to change the shape of my turtle. So the way to do that is you write the name of your turtle. So for me, it's T and then dot and then write shape with parentheses like this. And then inside that, write quotation marks and then the shape that you want. So I'm going to write turtle. But the other shapes you can do are arrow, circle, square, triangle, and classic. So you can choose any of these shapes. And now if I run it again, you'll see my little turtle over here. And now I'm going to go through each of the movement functions. So there are four functions, and the first one is t.forward. And remember, you'll put whatever you called your turtle. So for me, it is t. And then inside the parentheses, you'll put the number of units you want your turtle to move. So I'm going to put 100 as an example. And now when I run it, you'll see it went along this line 100 units forward. And then the next one is backward. So it's the same thing except going backward. And you'll put any number of units in the parentheses. And all of these functions are going to have parentheses like this. So you'll see it went forward first and then backward and then next we have how to turn the turtle. So there's t dot left and t dot right. So left is going to be counterclockwise like this and then right is clockwise like this. And then inside these parentheses you'll put how many degrees you want your turtle to turn left or right. So I'm going to put 90 degrees as an example. You can even put greater than 360 degrees and it will just go that many degrees around. And now, after it goes backward, you'll see it went left and right 90 degrees just like that. And I'll play it again just so you can see. All right, and now we have each of the four movement functions. There is one common mistake that I would like to show you. So sometimes students don't put the name of their turtle in the front of each function. So say you go like this and you run that. You'll see this other turtle shows up here, this triangle, and that's because there's a default turtle that only shows up when you don't use the name of your turtle in front of the function like this. So if you're wondering why this other turtle shows up when you're coding in Python turtle, that might be because you didn't put the name of your turtle in front of the function. So I don't want that other turtle here, so I'm just going to delete that. And now that you know how to move the turtle, I want you to try to draw your own shape. So it can be like a square or a triangle or any other shape that you come up with but I want you to try to use these functions, which are forward, backward, left, and right, to come up with your own shape and have your turtle draw it. 
and you can also go back and rewatch this video if you're having trouble. But in the next video, I'll show you how to do this, how to make shapes, and we'll also continue to learn more about turtle functions. Thank you for watching. Bye! Thank you.